Hey guys, it's Heather. Today I'm going to show you how to create a lightweight work that can be mailed, so mail art. The supplies will be listed in the description box and let's get right to it. So the first thing that I have is a mixed media postcard and I have my brush and some matte medium. And then you're just going to get some papers any kind of papers, your scrap papers, and just do a little bit of collage on the front with your matte medium. And then once that layer is dry, then the next thing that we're gonna do is get our paintbrush and our matte medium. And I've got a little bit of acrylic paint. And this is like a pinky color. And I'm just gonna do kind of like a, like a little wash. I'm using matte medium, which is making the paint kind of translucent. Now that that layer is dry, I have some matte medium and some blue acrylic paint and I'm going to go around and put some blue paint in different places. And I'm also going to do that with the yellow. Okay, so the next step is to have some gesso. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around where each piece of paper um, ends and I'm gonna kind of blend it with the gesso. So in all the creases and in different places and just kind of blend it out. Okay, so the next step is I have some matte medium and a little bit of yellow and I'm going to do a kind of a translucent glaze over the white gesso. Okay, and so once that layer is dry, I have this iridescent violet paint and this sponge. And I'm going to just dip my sponge in the paint and just sponge on the paint in different places. And this creates a texture. And this is iridescent, so it's shiny and beautiful. Okay, and then this is a little tube. I think I had washi tape in this at one time and I just saved it. And I'm gonna dip this into some of that blue paint and I'm going to create little circles in different places on my card. And once that layer is dry, I have this Tim Holtz script stamps and I'm going to do a little stamping on my card. Then
then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to get some matte medium and some blue paint and I'm just going to do kind of a wash over the back of it and I'm going to do that in blue. Okay, so the next step is, is I have this little frame and I use my frame board to create that frame and I'm going to have put the frame in the box, spray some distress ink. I'm doing it in several different colors and I will have that in the description box for you. And then I'm going to make sure that that is completely dry before I move on to the next step. Okay, so now that my frame is dry, I have this stamp and some stays on ink, and I'm gonna go around the frame and do some stamping to create some interest. So the next step is I have some stays on ink and black and I'm just going to go around the edges. Okay, so here is my frame, and I had this little element that I got out of um, the Extraordinary Things to Cut Out book. And so I put that in there, and I used art glitter glue to glue it. And then I have this really beautiful piece of cardstock, and I'm going to glue that to the back of this. Now I have my little piece and I'm going to glue this onto my card. Now that I have that glued down, I have this little sticker that says peace and quiet. It's not really zooming in so you can't see it, but it says peace and quiet. And I'm going to glue that down with some art glitter glue. Now I have a charcoal soft pencil. And I'm going to go around my focal point with this um, charcoal pencil to really make it pop out. Okay, so then I turn my card over on the back side and I'm gonna do a little stamping to create some interest on the back of the card. I 
And now I have my gesso out and I'm just going to soften up some of those ink spots. So then the next step is to get out your Spectrafix and spray the front of your card. This is my final piece of mail art. I think it turned out really, really sweet, really interesting. This is really easy to do. I hope that this has inspired you to create some mail art for your family or friends. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will for future art videos. And don't forget to hit the bell for my future uploads. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.